Darf ich dir eine Frage stellen? Ja, du darfst. Okay. Uh, <lacht> kann ich etwas von deiner Mutter Milch haben? Ich habe gerade keine dabei. Uh, du Scheißversager. <lacht> So I'm here with Straight From The Path with Drew and uh, Tom. Let's get out. Tom. <laughs> so maybe you can introduce yourself, what you do in the band and... I'm Drew, I sing for the band. Tom, I play guitar. Yeah, so let's cut right to the chase. You've been on tour for the last couple of weeks. Um, you've done eight albums, four unofficially and four officially more or less. Um, four officially, let's call it that. Yeah. Yeah, how the other ones don't matter. They're fucking. They're, yeah. they're not the same thing. Okay. How has the feeling within the band changed? Has it changed, or is it just you two bunch of guys in a tour bus uh, driving around playing music? No, it definitely changes, especially as of lately. Um, we got a new drummer, um, Craig Short, Craig Reynolds. Craig, he's uh, from Reading, from the UK. Uh, but yeah, it always changes. You know, that's. Uh, I think that's one of the most important things about being in a band. And, being able to do it is to be able to change and write different records and keep it going and keep it fresh for you and keep it fresh for the fans so it doesn't get boring like you said it's not always just the same thing so yeah. okay so you've been in a band since you were teenagers yeah. uh, I think um, what do you think you would be doing if you weren't in a band right now well, I don't know I probably oh, you answer first you're probably I mean, I'd probably do something with like gambling like that's before I, before I was in this, I was a dealer in a poker room, mm -hmm. and I mean that would have sucked. But I mean I made really good money, but it was like the worst. And I probably would have just got stuck stuck in that. So I'm glad I did, but that's probably what I would have been doing. Well, I probably would have worked maybe probably with my brother or something. He's got his own business back at home, like uh, property management stuff like that. But I don't know. Just glad I'm not doing that, and I am doing this. So. Okay. Um, what is your worst and best moment of tour you've ever had? Flipping a van was the worst, for sure. Yeah, flipped our van in Wyoming. Oh, okay. That was terrible. Uh, best? Uh, playing Download was pretty sick. I mean, I Download was cool. There's, there's so many shows that we play, and it's like, fuck, that was the best show ever, and then you play another one. I like that was I like that was yeah, because that was like we're on state, we're on like a fill with fucking Muse and shit, and like mm. we shared a dressing room with Ace Freely from Kiss. Oh, we tried to break into our, our backstage room. He thought our, he backstage, thought our backstage, was backstage was the toilet, <laughs> <laughs> and we were just like, fuck you, Ace Freely. Like, it was, that was pretty funny. Yeah, it's just one of those <clears throat> moments where it's like, wow, like you said, you know, we've been in this band since we were teenagers, and to be able to do something like that yeah. and. It's funny like, thinking about like the high school we both went to, me and him, and it was like, how did we go from that really shitty high school to uh, to download with Muse and Ace Freely? It's like pretty funny. Yeah, it's just weird. I'm down 240. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, that's 240 euro, by the way, and uh, that was. That's why Dragon X not in this interview. So well, we'll play this. That's Dragon X not in this interview because um, because he lost two hundred forty euro to me. I don't like myself. Oh my God. Uh, Craig isn't in the video because he filmed our show last night and he recorded the audio. And he was trying to match it up and it didn't work, so he threw his GoPro out the window. So that's why he's not here either. So we would have had a full band, but they just all got mad about gambling and technology. Okay. So, I'm down to 40. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, talk about your last album, Subliminal Criminals. Um, it's, as always, political, quite, quite aggressive and honest. What inspires you most, Drew, when you write the songs? Or, well, yeah. <clears throat> we all collectively write the songs together. Um, a lot of the political stuff really comes from Tom's brain. He's, you know, he's very, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's, very aware of all of that kind of and, stuff. And I wouldn't even say, like, we're a political band. I mean, like, Thai Pig is not about politics. That's about sexual predators. Right. These things have to fall apart. It was a personal song with, for you. You know, it's like, we do have a lot of, of uh, you know, I think political shit I think because in America it's terrible. I think we just, like, we'll all agree on these topics and then we're like, 
okay, we feel strongly about this, let's tackle it, and mm -hmm. we write it together. And sometimes it, it ends up coming out like a political way, but then sometimes it takes a turn where it's like, oh, this is more like a personal way of saying stuff like this. But, uh, yeah, we kind of just, like, like, like I said, we all write everything together, so it's not just me, you know, writing everything down. Um, even Will, our producer, Will Putney, he has, you know, mm -hmm. A lot to do with uh, lyrics and how everything goes. So we co we co wrote two songs with Jesse from yeah, Stan too. Jesse helped he out. Did New Gods and Badge too. Yep. he helped with that. So we have uh, we have there's a lot of people, a lot of cooks in the kitchen yeah. with lyrics for sure. And it's really cool that yeah. we're it's fun able to do that. You know, because it makes it easier too. Because it's not like if one person had to do all of it, it'd be like freaking out. Because the lyrics are important. You know what I mean? Like they're fucking they're everything that you you know you talk about. <laughs> And it's like, so it's like not like just like a thing and it's, it, it's hard for any one person to do, you know, so I feel like it's good that everyone does it. You know? It's more fun too, you yeah. know, it's like mm. we feed off each other. It's like, oh, I wrote this cool line. Oh, this line's sick. Yeah. Or I wrote this cool line. and like, no, that's terrible. Like, that's not good at all. <laughs> like, Die Pig, Die Pig was straight up written by five people just yeah. constantly shouting out lines like, yo, this is a sick line. <laughs> like all that. That's why. So that was fun. So um, maybe you've heard of the refugee crisis and stuff that's going on in Europe right now. Yeah. There's a big uprising of right-wing parties here, and it's a big problem. Well, in, in America, too. Yeah, no, that's, that's uh, the thing I want to talk about, is Donald Trump's support. Um, how do you think it's yeah. opposed to uh, the more liberal perspectives, and how do people, why do people support him? What, what's the in Be intel? Because, and we, we talk about this so much in this tour, and it sucks that I hate talking about Donald Trump. Because it, to me, it just feeds into it, you know. Um, people are just terrible. <laughs> like they're awful, you know. And then the people, like we we've been talking about, like the polit when people get mad at political correctness, whatever. Like they'll go like, um, I, you know, I hate this PC shit. You know, what? I hate black people. So what? That's the truth. It's like that's racist. Like you were racist. You hate them because they're black. Not because like it's politically correct that people are mad at you for that. They're mad at you because you're the worst. Like you, you fucking straight up are the worst. And and that's the thing. Like Donald Trump got all these people that are now like think it's okay to say it because now they have all these people around them. You know what I mean? <coughs> it's like it's like almost like Nazis. And it's funny because Wolf down on this tour, they tell me they're like they're like oh yeah these fucking Nazis are here and like you know this happened. I'm like I was like. In my head, Nazis is like, you know, fucking Nazi, you know, but they're like, no, Nazis like are kind of like right wing, like fucking people from America almost, you know, like that's almost like a Nazi. I'm like, oh, there's, America's filled with Nazis, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm. I don't know. It's just uh, people, I guess, always feel, felt this way, unfortunately, and now they feel like it's okay to start talking about it because now they have a whole crowd behind them because Trump is doing well, you know what I mean? And, yeah. I it's mean, like, well, if he said it, then it's okay to say it, and I'm, it's okay that I feel this way. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, Donald Trump yeah. said it, though he, he's running for president, and he's winning, so, uh, yeah, I hate those ragheads, too. It's like, yo, you're a fucking racist, like, you are a racist, you know, and so, I don't know, that's what I think it is, it's just like, you know, there are people who are just fucking the worst, they're disgusting, it sucks, yeah. but then there's, you know, the whole Bernie Sanders movement, which is cool, and, you know, it's like... I don't want to say I'm anti-establishment or anything like that, but it's like, if I'm voting for anyone, I'm voting for him, you know what I mean? Because, you know, besides everything that he talks about, that I'm, I'm for most of it, it's like, he's just, the dude tells the truth. I mean, there's, there's footage of him from 50 years ago where he gets arrested, you know, uh, protesting for fucking equal rights and shit. It's like, that dude is the real fucking deal. When you have Trump and Clinton and Cruz... Who, well, Cruz is to me the scariest one. Like mm -hmm. that guy gets elected to the worst. But Hillary and Trump, like they have been, they'll say anything to get elected. There's like videos of Hillary legitimately lying for for you know for years. There's fucking vi uh, video of Trump being like, oh, I'm a Democrat. Oh, I, I Republicans are stupid. Like, oh, I would never be Republican. And now he's a Republican. It's just Bernie Sanders is like that guy has walked the walk, and you know after he talks the talk, when they're just talking the talk. So. There's a lot of good and evil, you know, it's kind of like the angel and the devil on the shoulder as far as that shit, so. Since there's loads of change going on in the U.S., do you think that hardcore can still influence people's minds and how they think about this stuff? I mean, if they're going to see the right bands and, you know, bands that have something to say, then yes. And 
if they're open minded about it, you know. Hardcore is more of like a, I think a way of life. You know, a lot of people think it's more like just a certain sound, and mm. sometimes kids uh, get turned off because it's not cool to like a certain band or whatever. But if they're going to see the right bands, like you know bands like Stray and Stig and Wolfdown, Architects, and Architects, all that are speaking out on things like that, then yeah, I do. Especially because yeah. the you know. Kids, you know, as bands are getting older, there's kids that are coming up, and younger kids that it's just evolving more and more and more. So I do. And you look at how big so, these shows are. I mean, this yeah. show is here's like 1,300 kids or some shit like that. It's like that's fucking huge. And like we're on tour with like Josh and and Chris from Stick to Your Guns. Like they're they were in other bands. They're fucking in their 30s. Like they've been doing it forever. And they're like when their bands were big, you know, back when internet wasn't a thing, you know shows were never like this you know now it just shows you like how much people are looking for stuff like this and how much they want to to hear this stuff and and if i thought that it that the music didn't influence them i just wouldn't tour like it like mm -hmm. i wouldn't do it you know what i mean so i think it does affect it you know even if it's on a small scale like it's accessible if people want want to you know hear it and be involved in it and they want to hear it which is cool it's fucking awesome people showing up for a straight from the path Counterparts stick to your guns, Wolf Down show, and it's like there's a fucking fuck ton of them, and it's like so I think they do want to hear, it. and that's why we do it. You know what I mean? That's why we write what we write, and that's why we tour as much as we do. It's because it's it spreads a message that I think people are latching onto. You know? Since you're striving to speak out and uh, change things in the world, what would be your one superpower if you had one? Uh, and what would you do with it? Eliminate the police. I think that's they're the the most useless pieces of shit there are. Like I mean, they're <coughs> fucking. I was thinking of like webs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, like if, if, if we're talking like that, but I mean, I thought I thought the uh, you, you, you can know. talk about anything you want. <laughs> well, I mean, I would just I, I think they're the biggest fucking joke there is. You know what I mean? Like they're I, I just don't I've never been helped from by a cop in my life. A cop has only given me like you know stress and fucking you know, physical harm on other people in this band and verbal fucking assault and fucking arrests and shit like that. Like, they're just like, they're the worst. They never help. And like, anytime I've ever called them to help, which was one time recently, because I watched a dog get hit by a car in Los Angeles and, um, and it was a huge dog and like, I, and it was just sitting there fucking obliterated and me and me and a fucking 15 year old kid pulled it out of the street. And, and I'm like, what do we, I can't just leave this dead dog here, you know what I mean? So I was just like, what do I do? It's like 9.30 at night, I call animal shelters, hospitals, all that. they're all like, oh, blah, blah, call this, whatever. And then they're probably like, oh, call the fucking police. I was like, oh, I would never want to call them. But I was like, fuck it, I can't leave this huge dead dog here that with his head fucking exploded. So I call the cops, I call 911, and it says, uh, please try again later. And I was like, what if I was being like murdered right now? You know what I mean? Or like if there's someone outside my door trying to kill me, even though the person outside my door trying to kill me would most likely be a police officer. Anyway, but that's besides the fact. Anyway, so I, now I call the local office. I'm like, yo, I was like, tell me what to do. And they're like, oh, well, where are you? And I'm like, I'm at this street and this street. He's like, oh, that's out of our jurisdiction, sorry. Hangs up on me. And it's like, I'm just asking for like a number. Like, I, you're, they just, they don't offer any fucking help. And I know I'm in Los Angeles where a lot of shit goes down, but it's like, it took me like hours to try to figure out what to do with this dog. And, Finally, like, it was, like, some fucking, you know, surrounding neighbor. I don't know what I'm getting at. I'm just getting at I think they're useless. I think when they went on strike in, in New York City, like, to uh, to protest uh, de Blasio, like, the, the crime went down, like, 97%. And it was just, like, there you go. Like, no one fucking needs you. Like, I, I think you're worthless. Like, like, the ones that are, you know, good, like, cool, but it's, like, the ones that are bad do way more harm than, than, than the good ones do good. And it's just like, to me, I'd rather just get rid of the whole fucking thing. Just get rid of all of it. There you go. Okay, that's That'll probably piss off a lot of people. That would be shit. It's piss off a lot of people. <laughs> that would be fun. I, I would get webs. And I, I'd wipe out the police. Drew would get the webs, though, so. I, always I mean, webs be would be tight, yeah. yeah. I always wanted to be Spider-Man, and then I could help. I could help people. I could just be Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs>